around June, July, and August. It was totally very hot in this area. That is why some other, other crops died before, before yelling very well. I don't know whether because of the weather, this time the beans are grown in smaller quantity compared to the other time. Since the quantity is now small, the price has increased. We had a prioritization sessions with the farmers, which was very participatory, where we tried to identify what are some of the outcomes they're interested in. The main challenges we found in northern Uganda included droughts, uh, floods, as well as uh, pests and diseases. Now there's this, an additional new challenge because of the high influx of uh, refugees coming from South Sudan, and so there's a higher demand to provide food for not only the region itself, but also for its neighbors. So what we did was identify material from the sea gene bank that could be able to handle the main challenges that farmers were facing. Sia maintains a gene bank in Uganda where we have 4,000 varieties of beans. Now within these varieties of beans, we have all the unique traits that will ensure that we can build resilience of the bean value chain to whatever shocks and stresses come our way. The gene bank in Uganda is connected to the gene bank in Cali, Colombia, where we have 37,000 varieties of beans. So we have an even richer, more robust pool of resources to tap into to ensure that the bean value chain and the farmers who are connected to this can thrive and build resilience in the face of climate change. They have different constraints in the production environment, so they'd want something that would grow there. At the same time, they'd want something they would want to see on their plate. So the variability here offers them uh, a basis from which to select to have something that would grow in their fields at the same time, something they would like to eat, or we help them in their nutrition. At times, most of the varieties that have good resistance usually don't have the type of market class that is preferred by farmers. So you actually have to do a cross-pollination between this variety that has the genes that you want into a background into the type of variety that you would want to develop. It could be a light seeded variety that is sugar bean, you cross it with a black seeded variety that has drought tolerance. In the end, I'll be able to select and get a variety that has the drought tolerance plus the market traits. SIAT influences policy making through the Climate Smart Agriculture profiles that we develop. These profiles are developed in collaboration with smallholder farmers and other stakeholders in the agriculture sector, where we evaluate the potential shocks and stresses of climate change, what the current adaptation practices are, and then advises on investment planning to ensure that resilience can be built right along the agriculture value chain. In Uganda, in northern Uganda, which is a drought-prone area, we're working with farmers and farmer organizations to introduce the Nabe 15 bean. Now the Nabe 15 bean has two unique traits. One is it's highly resistant to uh, diseases, specifically the bean anacross disease. The second is it's drought tolerant. This one is a drought material, and this one is a local material, with the, which is with farmers. They were provided with equal opportunity, same water supply, same management, same nutrients, but this is what this one was shown, given, and this is what this one has given. Nowadays, our weather, it is very, very unpredictable, so farmers need to go in for something which does not take long, even if there's some short rain of one and a half months, at least you will harvest this one. The local variety, this, actually these days, I don't know whether the soil has been already tired for, for it. That is why every time when we, we plant it, we plant it, it has got a lot of problems with the, the, the digits. So this one here, which is introduced newly, is okay. We are part of a system that is looking at enhancing or uh, increasing the productivity of a farmer from one step to another. I know we are not going to do it in one day, but we being here means that we are contributing towards that goal.
or that objective. We wanted the farmers to learn through doing. And so we set up demonstration plots in, in several sites across the villages. And the farmers were able to learn how to manage this variety and as well as compare it to their local varieties. What the farmers reported and were able to see was that this variety could be able to correlate most of the common pests and diseases. And at the same time, it was yielding up to three times more than their local varieties.